But, you know, that staff of Moses, it's not very big. It's not very thick. It's not like you might have seen in Hollywood, right? And yet Moses cast the staff and it turns into a serpent, a big snake that moves like a little snake. It moves very fast. Big snakes don't do that. But it moves like a little snake. And the magicians, they have ropes which they use through sorcery, and sorcery indicates always the death of religion. Sorcery killed Egyptian religion. It killed Babylonian religion. And when we have sorcery among ourselves, as we unfortunately do have, it means the religion is that some of our people are sick. They are sick because sorcery always is the death of certainty, the death of real belief. But they can cast these ropes and make them look like snakes. They know how to do that. They know how to, delete, how to delude the people. And then Moses casts his staff and it becomes a serpent, not an illusion. And the sorcerers can see that, that this is not magic. And then it eats their ropes, you know, so they don't have any ropes left. And then Moses picks up the servant and it turns back into the staff. Okay, is that irrational? Is that impossible? If you believe it is, then you don't have any reason. And you are a reductionist who has reduced the nature of reality to customary experience and nothing more. And that's a fundamental flaw of intellect. It's not a gift of intellect. Okay, so these things we learn in creed and they are liberating, and they are true, and they are very important. But as you go higher, and you live that creed you believe, and you live the sharia that you've been given, then God is likely to give you insights. And these come through amazing human beings in our tradition. And they can explain to us the whole pattern of reality. Their books are really precious. precious. And if we were to take one of their books, let's say Sadruddin al-Qunawi, he is a master of the masters. You know, and there's no issue in modern science that he could tell you where the metaphysical mistake is. Modern science has all kinds of conundrums. In the Big Bang Theory, in quantum mechanics, all of these are metaphysical problems. They're not problems with calculations and physics. They are because of the pseudo-metaphysics, which is at the basis of that science. And he would give you all the solutions. 